Hey everybody. Um, so you, some of you might recognize this guitar from a previous video. This is the one that um, Guitar Center sent me with the headstock that had the crack. Um, so I thought it had been in the finish. Either way, I still brought it back to the store and and I dwelled on it and thought about it. And a few weeks went by. And I noticed that they had put it up for sale on the Guitar Center website. Listed at the store where I returned it. Um, they didn't disclose the um, damage on it though. So I thought that was kind of shady. Um, but I thought, well, there could be a chance it's repairable. So I made my way down to Guitar Center in August. And in Massachusetts, we have a tax-free weekend. Um, so they managed to find this guitar. And they knocked off several hundred dollars off of it, and I paid no tax on it. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, of course, it still needs to be repaired. That hasn't stopped me from playing it in some capacity. I have tuned it to C, um, only on the top three strings here. So I just have just enough tension on the neck um, so it doesn't blow without having any tension on it, but not enough to... Um, damage the headstock um, so this one is a neck through the five piece maple and wenge and it has the mahogany wings with the burl maple top and reptile eye finish um, and this is really cool this is a bird's eye maple fretboard and you can see the little holes Obviously bound in abalone as well. And uh, it's got a little Godzilla guy there. Down here, it's, headstock is in reptile eye as well. So this guitar is pretty cool that it has a um, German-built Floyd Rose. So this has the brass block to it. Um, that's really nice. Gives you that massive sustain and tone to it and it has passive pickups these are the DiMarzio deactivators in here and they sound pretty great um, these are the same ones that are in my prophecy shredzilla the transparent black one um, so these are nice sounding even if this is tuned down to C it still um, has great definition and sound as, as low as C probably even as good if you go to even lower than that um, now this guitar has a bit of a different configuration um, whereas the other guitars have some kind of like coil split or push pull on the volume pot um, this one actually does it on the tone so the tone is the coil split then you have your typical three-way and then the volume which does not push pull um, this one, I'll show you how this works. The thing that's pretty cool and different about this is so here's the back side. This is like the reptile eye here. Obviously, took this off to kind of relieve the tension on the headstock. There's the brass block. I've kind of blocked this guitar off so it doesn't move much. It has the Schaller strap locks, which is different than my other Shredzillas, where I have the Dunlop strap locks. Um, no biggie. Um, but yeah, it has a finish up to here. And then this is all satin. And then it continues the finish on the headstock. Um, so that's different compared to the other Shredzillas. This also has the uh, Grover lock and tuners on it. Um, so the finish is cracked and it is also cracked to the neck as well um, it takes a little bit of force if i pry it it will come up it will move a little bit um, so that will get repaired eventually and i plan on keeping this guitar tuned kind of low just to keep some of the tension off the headstock in the future but i will be buying another one of these soon because um, i plan on having one of these in E standard so essentially I'm having um, Shredzilla's in multiple tunings with 
passive and active pickups. And uh, this just has the one control cavity cover for it because it doesn't have the um, kill switch like the other Shredzillas. So it's uh, a pretty cool guitar. Um, I don't play it too often just because I don't want to damage this headstock. But it's my first guitar I own it with a bird's eye maple fretboard. So we'll see how that goes. Um, sounds, sounds pretty cool though. I like it. And I'm going to like it when I get the next one too. I like to also how this kind of like has a flame in here too. Kind of flamed maple as well. That's pretty cool. Alright. So if you have any questions, you know how to comment.